This is one one of the whole most reasons why I came down here just to change my life from all this drama stuff and come down and still drama down here with him and then I ain't did nothing to him. I ain't made a man or nothing. All right, okay. A website called All About the Tea. He told All About the Tea that during the fight. Hey everyone, welcome back to the All About the Tea channel. How's everyone doing today? Okay, so there's been quite a few updates in the Tim Norman murder for hire case of his nephew. On Thursday afternoon, August 20th, a grand jury charged Tim's insurance agent, Y.L. Yugnam, in the case. Y.L. Yugnam is 42 years old from St. Louis, Missouri, He's been charged with one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. Yugnam is a music producer who worked on several tracks for Nelly's 2002 album, Nellyville, as well as being an insurance agent. The charges state that prior to Andre's murder, Tim conspired with YL Yugnam, his insurance agent, to fraudulently obtain a life insurance policy on Andre. Beginning in 2014, Norman and Yugnam submitted a total of three separate life insurance applications, all containing false statements. The charges read, conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud carries a maximum penalty of 20 years in prison and a fine of $250,000. And this is according to the attorney's office. Now, if you watched my video on Wednesday, I made light of this. I said, Expect more charges to come out of this, that Tim would be hit with insurance fraud charges, and lo and behold, two days later, he's being charged with this crime. He didn't collect a dime on these policies because all the information contained in the application were falsified. So when it came time to collect the money, he could not provide the supportive documentation to support the things he put in the application, and he was therefore denied. It's sad and tragic that all of this has happened. He killed his nephew, and he got not a dime, zero. When Andre was murdered in 2016, no suspects were found. But four years later, the cold case division stayed on the case, and now we have three people being charged. Welcome to Sweetie Pies was a hugely popular reality show that ran on the OWN network for seven years and followed Andre's family and their chain of restaurants called Sweetie Pies. Andre is Miss Robbie's grandson, and she owns all of these restaurants. As I previously reported, on Tuesday, Miss Robbie's own son, Tim Norman, was arrested in connection with Andre's murder. He's being charged along with a stripper named T. Erica Ellis and now his insurance agent, Y.L. Yugnam. Back in 2012, there was an episode of Sweetie Pies where Tim lost his cool, physically assaulted his cousin Charles and his nephew Andre, both teenagers at the time. So instead of being a mentor to his nephew, he assaults him, bullies him, then have him murdered for insurance money. His own dead brother's son, his own flesh and blood, murdered for insurance money. Having a great moment with TJ, loving him and thinking how blessed we are as a family and everything. Andre and Charles bust through the door. It's amazing how in a moment, your whole world can change. What's the matter? Tim. What did he do? He came to the restaurant. Now I grabbed the cup that I had from in the office, and then I had the uh, clean solution in my hand. So he walks back and then slaps the cup out of my hand, and then grabs cleanest cleanest solution, knocks it over, knocks all the boxes over, and then pushes me up against the the uh, the desk. And then he runs after him, pushing him out the other door. So he doing just stupid stuff. He uh, pushing Charles and stuff. He got mad whenever, and he hit me in my chest. In the yeah. office, in the restaurant. Mm -hmm. What the f is wrong with him? Andre and Charles just rushed in. They're upset because Tim punched Andre. What is going on? What's wrong with Tim? That is not acceptable. 
This is one of, one of the whole most reasons why I came down here just to change my life from all this drama stuff. And come down and still drama down here with him. And it, I ain't did nothing to him. I ain't made him mad or nothing. All right, okay, I'm going to talk to Tim because this is getting out of hand. He's getting out of f***ing hand. I'm just getting sick of it. Take the baby. Come on. This don't make sense. You do not put your hands on anybody. That's no way to solve the problem. So right now, I don't know where Tim's head is. What the hell is going on? Come on, let's go. I'll see. I'll see you later. I'll see you later. I mean, we're family. We got to get along. That's all we got. All they do is play, Mom. That's not the point. Maybe they do play, but putting your hands on them, that's not right. That's not right. Here's the beef. I say that the women in our family are a little too soft at raising our boys. I mean, they kind of spoil them and let them do what the hell they want to do. I know how I was raised and I know how my cousins were raised. So I'm saying I want this generation to turn out different. So I want to discipline Charles and Andre a little more than my mom and my aunts will discipline them. And I'm the bad guy right now. Okay. Mom. Y'all can they go know back they, on. Okay. They know go they back. can't get fired. Tim, it ain't about That's getting fired. Close the door, man. Close the door, y'all. Tim still held things like he's still in prison. That's not the way. You're out here, you're not incarcerated. This is the real world, and we deal with things different. And you're supposed to be a home of somebody they look up to. How do you think they think every time they see you, you're pushing them around and stuff? Because they ain't got no control. You ain't got no control. Yeah, I you don't beat up your they, fam. They, 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 you they don't be beat up your fam. Be... I wouldn't pop my fam. Your fist is not the answer. They I have some exclusive tea to spill. According to a source close to the family, Tim has a million dollar life insurance policy on his mother, Miss Robbie. The family feels that Miss Robbie was the next likely target because Tim is drowning in debt. He owes thousands in back child support, he owes back taxes, he owes various businesses, and he owes various individuals around town a lot of money. According to the source, the family, the family don't know what to believe. They're trying to wrap their head around all this craziness, and they're asking for prayers at this time. Welcome to Sweetie Pie. So we're going over menu for the new place. Uh huh. We're gonna add some, maybe some new uh, selections. Okay. Tim, he just said he wanted to take the restaurant to another level. He wanted to add his, add some things to the menu. I had given him a check, and I, I hadn't seen it a clear check. yet. Uh huh. You gave Tim a check? Yeah, he said he needed a check with Sweetie Pies on it and uh, to take care of some kind of business. So I thought maybe that was to go experiment with some stuff. I didn't know. And you haven't cleared it, seen it clear? It hasn't cleared yet. Mm -mm. I was just wondering, did you know something about it? I didn't know anything about it. He didn't tell you what the check was for? He just said it, need, it had to have Sweetie Pies on it. I'm not worried about him taking the money or something, but he probably been to sneak and do something. Well, I'll find out. I'll ask him about that. Tim's about to find out what the five fingers said to the face. Bam! After Miss Robbie's singing career ended, she created Sweetie Pies, which is an iconic St. Louis soul food restaurant chain. The family then gained their own reality show called Welcome to Sweetie Pies following their family, and running their restaurants. Andre often appeared in the TV series until his tragic murder in 2016. He was shot to death, and the police couldn't identify any suspects in connection with the case. It's been four years since Andre's murder, and finally some, somebody has been charged, but sadly it's his own family, his uncle, Tim Norman. Tim was charged on Tuesday with conspiracy to commit murder for hire, murder for hire resulting in the death, and one count of conspiracy to commit wire and mail fraud. His accomplice, Tierica Ellis, is a stripper from Memphis, Tennessee. She's also been charged um, with conspiracy to commit murder and mail and wire fraud. These for their crimes could include life in prison, 
the death penalty in addition to fines of $250,000. In my video from Wednesday, I read the complaint. I'll leave a link in the description box to that video. You can go look at it. I lay everything out. Also, Tim Norman's ex, Jennifer Williams, came out and recently spoke about his arrest. Jennifer uh, took to Instagram and had some very choice words for Tim. She wrote, karma will get you one way or another. The truth always reveals itself. Condolences to the family. I can't imagine this, how this dose of truth is hitting. Jennifer and Tim shared a rocky relationship. Jennifer even accused Tim of stalking, and she reported him to the Los Angeles police. Tim has been hit with numerous lawsuits for unpaid business debts and is currently facing multiple legal bat battles on top of these criminal charges for the murder of his nephew. At this time, Tim is using a public defender. He has not hired a private attorney. I guess the funds are not there and he can't afford a private attorney, so he's using a public defender. This story is developing. As I receive the information, I will share it with you and keep you all up to date on what's going on. Thank you for listening today.